Hello my darlings, so today's episode, I'm obviously in a different environment. I decided to come to the park and be one with, one with nature as I do some tips on positivity. So hopefully it's not too loud, but let's get into it. So I do wanna dive right into it and I just wanna start off by saying that my mentality has not always been positive. I went through a very, very negative time period in my life and I stand uh, with you here today or sit with you here today to tell you that my mindset has taken quite a shift. So I wanna talk to you about how yours can potentially do the same. So without further ado, the first thing I do wanna mention is practicing gratitude. Um, when you're starting off your day and finishing your day with the things that you're grateful for, it's really, really hard to have an attitude about the things that are going on when you're focused on the positive things that are overwhelming your experience. I do have a gratitude journal. I don't keep up with doing it every day, but whenever I feel the moment to write down what I'm grateful for, I always seize it. And I'm always thinking about what I'm grateful for rather than the lack mindset, what I'm missing. Another thing is believing in divine timing. Oh man, everything is happening exactly as it's meant to. Everything is aligning as it's meant to in this moment. And just trusting in divine timing, trusting in the process and in the knowing that it's all happening exactly as it's meant to. Taking that weight off of feeling that um, things are when you have a plan set up and things don't quite go as planned and remembering that um, there is a divine lineup for all of that. There's me coming This is so weird. Another thing is understanding that you can retrain your mind. I know sometimes a lot of us think like, this is just the way that I think, this is the way that I am. And we think that we're sworn into that state of being forever. No. You can retrain your mind just as your mind was trained to believe and think the way it does now. It can be retrained into a different frame of mind. So remember that when you start to think, oh, I've always been this negative, I'll continue to be this negative, or I've always been this broke, whatever it is, that just as well as you can um, retrain your body, you can retrain your mind. So something I know a lot of us might like to do is to do self-deprecating jokes or just um, making plenty of playful things in a self-deprecating or a negative way. And what I'm gonna say to you is the universe doesn't have a sense of humor. <laughs> the universe does not know if you're joking or not. So when you do make these self-deprecating jokes and when you do speak on things in the negative, whether it's a joke or not, or whether you're being truthful, just know you're radiating a negative frequency and the universe um, like attracts like. So if you are making a self-deprecating joke, the universe hears it as truth. So do be mindful of what you say and um, how your words truly are so powerful. So this can be a tough one depending on your situation, but detaching from negative people is one of the simplest and sure ways to create more positivity in your life. Um, there are a lot of negative people. There's people that you can't necessarily detach from, um, and there's people that you can. So just be mindful of the people you surround yourself by. You often have the same mindset of the top three people you spend your time with. So if you're around a lot of negative Nancys, this can definitely affect your way of thinking. I know I'm very heavily affected whenever I work in a workplace where the employees are very unhappy. It's very contagious, although I'm a very positive, high energy person. Being around that all the time is extremely draining and you do tend to pick up these things just from being around those people all the time. So do be mindful of the negative energy that you're around and remember that your frequency does not have to be affected by those that are around you and um, and sometimes you literally have to stay in your own energy lane <laughs> to not be picking up the attitudes of everyone around you. So this is another thing that I'm kind of flaky on, but when I do it, it feels so good, and that is to have a strong morning routine. I know you've heard it time and time again, but the reason why a strong morning routine can really make your day feel positive um, or just really ground you so that you can handle whatever happens that day 
When you have a morning that goes in your plan, in your routine of things that feel good to you, you already have a brighter look on how the rest of your day is going to turn out. And you also just, I don't know, when you build that foundation of your morning, the rest of your day, even if things go wrong, it's like you have something to lean on. So setting a strong morning routine is very beneficial. I don't do it all the time, but when I do, I always feel better. So this is a big thing that I had to learn being as an actor and also um, a streamer and just an online personnel is to be able to laugh at yourself. I think this is so important for everybody to learn. There's moments that you may deem embarrassing um, or just mistakes when you make mistakes and you slip up and things like that. And I want you to know that you got to be able to learn how to laugh at yourself and laugh at the stupid shit that you do. And, um, and life becomes a whole lot more fun when you learn to laugh at yourself because you're not so preoccupied with whether other people are laughing at you because you're just laughing at yourself anyways and just be free and be silly and who you are and um, it's so much more authentic and fun to live your experience when you're able to just laugh at yourself and just be who you are and not like and getting embarrassed is truly a mindset and you don't have to get embarrassed you really don't embarrassment is just a consideration of how someone else is perceiving you and you thinking stressing that it's in a negative way and like we don't need to be worried about other people's opinions and we're just going to laugh at ourselves and keep moving on with our merry day if you ever see somebody here's a prime example like do you ever see somebody let's say somebody trips laughs about it and keeps moving it's like forgot it right but if somebody trips and then it's like oh my god oh my god dude, that, that was so embarrassing Oh, did anybody see that oh my gosh and then they make a bigger deal out of it and then it's a bigger deal and then everybody's thinking about how embarrassing it was but if you had just played it off and laughed about it it's like pfft, nobody's thinking about it anymore so just laugh at yourself go with the flow okay so one of the biggest things that I always think about in my day in day out life is that everything is a blessing or a lesson truly if it's either bringing you blessings, you're feeling the blessing of it, or it's teaching you a lesson. And yeah, sometimes we have a lot of lessons that we have to learn, but um, they, are our, they are all to our benefit. They're all for our growth. And, uh, and we're always learning. So just remember that next time that you feel negative energy towards a situation or maybe towards a person and just be like this, this is, if it's not a blessing, it's a lesson. So what can I gather from this? <laughs> Focus on the present. Okay, because I think most of the time we are either having anxiety about the future or we are depressed from the past. So focusing on the present moment can just clean up so much garbage, so much garbage and just realizing that like right here, right now, very rarely is it something that's happening right here, right now, in this moment right here, that's the thing that's troubling. So often it's something that's not really happening at this moment. So just focusing in on your breath and in your stillness and grounding yourself in this presence moment, a really quick, easy way to do that is to just look around and point out five things. So like right now, it's the way that the trees like lurch over me and um, the parking meters along the streets um, and the purr of the cars as they drive by and things like that so that just regrounds you in this moment I know we have we have a tendency to do things in habitual routine and it's like when you go for that drive and when the drive's over you're like what I was driving that whole time I don't even remember what happened during that drive um, and reconnecting to the present moment is, is how we truly feel alive the big thing to realize is that you determine your reality. I like to think that whatever I expect is what I'm going to get. And what I mean by that is if I expect to feel shitty, if I expect to have a bad day, um, you're expecting to not get the interview, you're expecting for the relationship to fail, you're putting out that 
into the universe. You're like expecting things to go wrong, expecting the negative. And uh, I always like to think that the universe wants to prove me right um, and is always trying to prove me right. So when I'm having those thoughts, it wants to say, oh, you think this relationship's gonna fail? Well then, here are things that will make that happen. Um, so do be mindful that what you expect can be what you get. So I like to, I like to think of every day just like, I don't know, miracles could happen today. You know, if I can expect the negative, why can't I expect positive to happen? You never know, you never know what may happen at any moment, what miracles could possibly bless you at any moment. So I know we're so used to expecting the negative, expecting to dread work, like expecting, you know, to have a terrible time at work, expecting to have a boring time with a friend or something, whatever. Um, but can we like switch the narrative and just be like, I'm expecting these positive things to happen. I'm expecting to meet really lovely people. I'm expecting to feel good in my body and ugh, it feels so much better when you do. So a big thing is making time to do things that feel good to you. So often our schedule consists of all of the things that we have to do or maybe even don't want to do, but very rarely do we actually schedule in things that we want to do, things that bring us joy, um, whatever that is for you, if that's creative expression or going to the beach, I don't know what it is for you, but um, just be mindful that sometimes, especially if you have a really busy schedule, you have to schedule in the things that you enjoy doing as well, not just the things that are mandatory. And that way it's not when I have time, but it's this is the time that I'm doing it. Because typically when you say, if I have time, I'm gonna do that, the time never comes. And then you're overworked and then you burn out and then you have to make time for those leisure things. So schedule them in, okay? schedule in those moments that make you take a breather. So I would say one of the biggest things that changed how I thought is how many books, podcasts, YouTube videos, like motivational videos I listened to when I was changing my mindset. It's so powerful how somebody else's story and experience and words of wisdom can affect how you think. Like again, like I said, just how you trained your mind before into the negative, it can also be retrained into something different. And listening to these inspirational stories or the knowledge from books and podcasts can retrain that for you. So I would say that's the biggest thing that impacted me um, over the course of a year. All I did was whenever I was doing my makeup, I would listen to something inspirational. That's it. And it's crazy by the end of the year how my mind now thinks a different way because I was given the opportunity to hear the mindsets of these positive people or these successful people and um, and in turn I'm like well if they can do it I can do it too so this is something that goes hand in hand with gratitude but that is appreciating others just appreciating that we are all human beings in this existence together and we are all figuring it out none of us are perfect but we're all perfectly imperfect and um, and we're all on the journey and we all have our different stories and this what we believe to be our truths and um, just trying to appreciate other people more I know sometimes it could be really hard and people could really stress you out um, but generally I like to just go out of my way to show um, especially like when I'm going to a restaurant or going to a store just really appreciating the people that are really working hard to get me the things that I need and the things that I want and um, just appreciating people just feels good I, I think people deserve to be appreciated and we could all use a little extra love I always love those videos um, that are on TikTok and other websites of people like yelling compliments from their car to random strangers on the street because you could really see how it affects people so deeply to just hear something positive from a stranger so I like to try to carry that energy over into every interaction that I can but it's with that being said if you give me shitty energy, I'm not gonna give you like perfect positivity back, okay? Treat people how they deserve to be treated. So when you're learning, when you're developing your mindset, something that you learn is that your thoughts are neither true nor false. They are just your thoughts. 
and your thoughts, your intrusive thoughts do not turn into manifestation. So I think a lot of times we worry that everything that we're thinking is going to become our experience um, or is our experience. And you have to remember, especially for my cuties out there that have really negative mindsets, that the thoughts that you're having are neither true nor false. I know we like to think that we the story we tell ourselves is like definite the truth for us and it's not. Just as I said, you could retrain your brain. Everything that you think now, if you take the time and the consistency, you can retrain everything that you're currently thinking. So um, just remember your thoughts are neither true nor false and you can choose what your story is. I know I mention this in every video, so I'm gonna say a really quick meditation. Come on, it's changed my life. Every time I start to get crabby and like out of alignment with myself, I meditate and I'm fine. Why do you think I seem so zen today? Because I did this morning and I worked out, so I'm just gonna drop that. We don't need it, you know, you know it's a cool thing to do, okay? Okay, so I know I said before that um, you tend to get what you expect, so tagging off of that, I wanna say try not to expect certain results. Um, I try to just like allow things to flow in life and though that doesn't mean that I don't have goals, um, but I allow the unfolding for things to happen as they do. You know, I like to think that I have a goal in my mind, but how I get there is flexible. And, um, and just remembering not to put all this pressure on yourself to constantly be expecting some sort of result. And then if you don't get that specific result, then you get really frustrated and you're like really set on that result. When you do that, you're closing the universe off from the other things it wants to give you like you don't get a certain job but because you didn't get that one job you end up getting another one instead so don't set your mind on things too much where you're closing off all these other doors that become open to you when one closes okay so a big thing I had to learn as a people pleaser is to prioritize your feelings and to sometimes just not give a fuck how other people feel and what I mean by that is um, when you're setting boundaries and when you're uh, just, you know, growing into yourself, how you feel is not always going to align with how other people feel. And I like to just say, if you have to disappoint someone else or disappoint yourself, please choose to disappoint them. I know I just said this in my prior video, but um, yeah. You can't keep continuously letting yourself down because you're doing it for the satisfaction of other people. So just be mindful that you gotta prioritize your feelings. It is your life after all. And um, and let go the, the expectation that everybody's gonna agree with how you feel all the time. So a little shift in mindset that I've been practicing extra lately is when you write down a to-do list um, I like to think of it as what I get to do and not what I have to do. I realize that in today's society I feel like we just feel this obligation to just be productive and working and um, all of these things we feel we have to do in order to be in civilization and, um, and it's just like we should feel excited for the things that we get to do throughout the day. I don't know, sometimes I just feel like this is like life. We're supposed to be feeling alive and adventurous and free and excited. And most of us just spend our days in and out like, oh, these are all the things I have to do today. Ugh. Sleep, eat, repeat. And I just know that's not how we're supposed to be having this experience. Like I see um, a joke on like TikTok and Twitter that we were just meant to eat fruit and f and be naked and I totally agree with that and I think so many things get in the way of us feeling truly alive um, in something as simple as like that so just remember to kind of shift that ch mindset to like this is what I get to do today not just what I have to do even though some things can really just feel like an obligation. So like I mentioned before, with the, if, you get, if you don't get a job, you get another one instead. Um, with that, I just wanna say 
that rejection is redirection. Uh, this is something I had to learn as an actor big time. Uh, a lot of actors perceive auditions they didn't get to be rejections. I never think of it that way now. I always like to think that it's just a redirection into something else and I always think that when it comes to anything in life, um, even if there's a particular lover you're trying to attract, it's the same thing. Like if you there's a rejection from that, then it's just a redirection into somebody even better that's meant to be in your experience. So always being mindful that rejection is just redirection. So we, I don't know if I'll ever do this again. So tell me in the comments below if you like this. You're like you're probably like it's too noisy and what's going on. So I do want to mention that um, healthy eating does affect how you feel about yourself. Um, you know, it's just like few, food is medicine, it really is, and um, studying nutrition has really helped me understand that, how so much of what we are fed in this society is not, is not for our benefit, for our health, it's, it's really not, and how um, going back to like our nature, our roots, um, and healthy eating is so nourishing and truly is medicine for the body. With that being said, not guilt eating is just as important. So um, though I eat very healthy most of the time, and when I say healthy, you know, I like to just think I eat plant-based and things that are from, from the ground um, and nourishing for my body. That being said, if I decide to eat a cake or if a cookie or whatever it is I don't let myself feel guilty anymore guilt eating just leads to other bad habits that follow you feeling guilty so to give you an example like if I feel guilty from eating ice cream then the next morning I won't work out because I feel like crap and then because I don't work out then I have like a catty like then I don't meditate and then I have a catty attitude and then I'm mean to people and it just like kind of carries through so um, just don't let that guilt eat you up and allow yourself like if you're eating a piece of cake don't be like, oh, this is gonna be, you know, I feel bad for eating this cake. Just like, enjoy it. And then, like, move on with your life. We get uh, so caught up emotionally with food, and, uh, and I have struggled with lots of different stuff with food in the past. I'm still dealing with, like, healing from binge eating and things of that nature, but, um, yeah, just know that healthy eating or eating what feels good to you, eating intuitively can carry out and make you feel good throughout the rest of the day. So this is a simple one, but listening to music that reflects how you want to feel. Um, I make tons of playlists on Spotify. I love making playlists for my mood of the moment. And I just know that if I need a shift in how I'm feeling, all I have to do is put on music that is the way I want to be feeling. So like today I'm feeling with these sleeves, I'm feeling very like goddessy. Um, and I was listening to my goddess energy playlist on the way here and I'm just really tapping into that. So something really simple to do if you just want some clarity is to listen to music that reflects that. Um, I know a lot of the music today can be kind of um, like really intense uh, as far as like it's a lot of stimulation in the brain so um, listening to more relaxing or just like calm or whatever even if it's like upbeat whatever it is you know whatever it is sometimes when I'm really angry you know I listen to rock music and then I just let it out so you know just do what feels right for you um, a big thing that has helped me is realizing that I'm in control of how I react. I'm not in control of how other people are, but I'm always in control of how I react to them. And uh, yeah, that's as simple as that. Just being mindful of that is a game changer. I'm just like, yeah, they can, they can piss me off, but it's up to me to get pissed off in response to what they said. And then sometimes I think like if somebody says something really mean to you and you feel like hurt or like wounded by it, it's like letting them win. And I'm too competitive for that. I'm too good. And I'm like, no, like I will be in my bliss. Doesn't mean what you did is right. 
but I will remain in my bliss because you affecting my energy is a win for you and I will not let that happen. So sometimes a little competitiveness can give you an edge. <laughs> So the final thing I'm going to say is to choose resilience and uh, yeah, you know, trusting in divine timing and all of that is amazing, but at the end of the day, choosing to be resilient, no matter what happens, you do like, you keep getting back up, you keep getting back up, you keep getting back up. And I think, um, you know, that's the best quality you can have when it comes to going for a positivity mindset or going for you know a goal as far as your career whatever it is um, it's just being resilient and relentless and no matter how many times you feel wonky no matter how many times you get knocked down you're just like okay but I'm still going okay but I'm still going I'm still going so um, just remember that your journey is not going to be perfectly linear if you're working on your negative mindset and you still have a lot of negative thoughts a lot of the time. Just know that it's not a, like the, there's going to be days where you get back in a funky space even after feeling happy um, and clear for a bit and that's totally normal. It happens. We're human and we're experiencing a lot of different emotions all the time. So allow yourself forgiveness for that and just keep it up, keep it up, just don't quit, just keep working on it. And if you do just a little bit every day, um, you'll get there, I promise you will. Trust me, I had a very, very, very negative mindset, very negative mindset. So that does conclude this video. Let me know how you guys liked the video in the park <laughs> um, and if there's what other content you want to see from me but thank you so much for watching i hope you got some good tips as always please do like and subscribe if you liked the video and i do post new videos every friday so come back and see me on fridays all right until the next one ta-ta for now